One is an oath answered, an oath of vengeance for a life taken, a past destroyed, a future threatened. Enemy of darkness, his battle eternal, he walks the earth relentless. His mission, to hunt the messengers of evil and drive them back to hell. Now, the light of the earth depends on the immortal. Am I only looking for wedding announcements here? Uh, better throw in engagements. The ring can be used for either purpose. Limited to uh, rich and powerful families. Rafe, according to my calculations, your nine millimeters aren't calibrated to their maximum trajectory. You can figure out recalibrations. <laughs> well, he's smarter than he looks. We'll get on it. Do you guys want to fill me in while you're gearing up for battle? The bride's kiss emerald was stolen this morning, and that can only mean trouble. Why? It's a demon-cursed emerald that enslaves the wearer into total submission to the giver. They use it for marrying into powerful families. They're demons. Well, who else? Once they're in, the curse takes over and they're completely manipulated by their spouse. Sounds like some of the marriages I know. We've been tracking it for a couple hundred years now. 20 years ago, it fell into the hands of a human collector. He kept it out of circulation for quite some time, but then his estate put it up on display. It was stolen this morning from its case in the museum. And I'll bet you anything it's back in demon hands by now. So what happens next? Well, after they've married in these families, they use their high status to uh, alter the course of history, like the French Revolution. Assassination of Archduke Ferdinand and that bogus wrestling match between Conan the Bruiser and the Killer Swede. <laughs> Please. Okay, I can't actually prove that it was because of the Emerald, but it was still lousy. Hmm. Are you coming up with anything? Well, there are three big weddings this weekend. 
clothing manufacturer, CEO of the largest flange producers. Oh. This has got to be the one. Maximilian Montgomery is marrying Katya Anderson tomorrow at 3. Who's that? He's a billionaire, and she's a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence. I have studied everything she has ever written or created. She's like the Martha Stewart of the scientific community. So she does it with flower arrangements? You're extremely funny. What I mean is, she's really marketed herself intelligently. Like her or not, she's brilliant. Her latest research was perfecting computers with virtual personalities capable of learning so that human programmers would be unnecessary. Computers that think and learn. Heuristic is the technical term. Learn what? Well, it depends on what parameters Katya set up for them. Look. You've earned yourself a reputation as a control freak. Did that come out of being in an area completely dominated by men? No, that came out of dealing with a lot of jealous male incompetence. It is tiresome dealing with ridiculous and archaic gender issues, but hopefully my colleagues know to focus on my intelligence and not my breasts. So what's next for you? I am releasing my newest invention, Nika, on my wedding day. Any chance of a preview? No, I'm sorry. You'll just have to wait like the rest of the world. But you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Isn't she great? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's a real charmer. Nice rack. You are a troglodyte. And she's a male-bashing elitist, and you look up to her? Now, look. What's the story with this Maximilian guy? Maximilian Montgomery. From a long line of diamond miners, arms dealers, and power brokers. An intelligent computer, a demon emerald, and unlimited financial backing. I don't like the way this is shaping up. Let's go. We're crashing a wedding. All right. Champagne, finger food, bridesmaids. Hey, we can't crash a society wedding. This is a, a marriage. It's supposed to be a, a sacred event. I think. Not that I really know. I'd really like to know one day. A anyway. There's gonna be security up the Yang Yang. There's an etiquette around this. We have to get on the guest list. Ying Yang, what's that? Is that out of the Kama Sutra? Hey, can it? Look, we don't have time for etiquette, Sarah. We've gotta get there before Katya becomes a pawn in this demon game. Is there ever time for etiquette, Rafe? Well, it's been known to happen. Look, do you wanna do this with minimum or maximum body count? All right, I'm listening. What's your plan? At least you look styling. Come on, the bow tie looks fine. Here. Do I look okay? Absolutely. Thanks. You guys both look very handsome. Hey, why do I get boned with this waiter gig? Why can't I be a guest? Oh, it's an excellent cover in terms of maneuverability and access to information. What, the society said is just gonna discuss their plans in front of the help? <laughs> and look at me, honestly. I am way too cool to be a waiter. At these events? The waiters are the coolest. That's exactly the point. To them, help our people, their props. You're gonna hear all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't ordinarily hear. Now, Rafe. Ah, uh, forget it. I've been to enough high society weddings. I am a photographer. Artsy. Good. That'll explain the hair. <laughs> What's wrong with my hair? It's just... A little 60s. 1760s or 1860s? Hey. But it looks good on you. Huh. And what's your cover? This dress is my cover. <laughs> Just to clarify, why am I the one breaking a sweat? Good one, cheer up. No one keeps track of the food and drinks. You can eat to your heart's content. Yeah, and remember why we're here. No girls and no booze. We're on a mission. Uh, when have I ever been anything other than totally dedicated, Rafe? <laughs> How about Japan, 1790? Or London, 1743? Or the Black Forest, 1812? Okay, I get your point. Boys, one hour till showtime. Can't wait to get started. Let's go. Okay. This is where Katya is getting married, isn't it? Yes, and Miss Anderson does not appreciate tardiness. I suggest you hurry. But the wedding doesn't start for another hour. It's starting now. Oh. Invitation, please? Certainly. 
It's here somewhere. Oh, oh. Invitation? You just took my invitation. Fine, then call Katya. She's busy getting married. Smile. <laughs> Looks like we've got the right party. Well, your cover's working great so far. Keep up the good work. No, not New York. This meeting has to take place in Hong Kong. I don't give a damn about your kid's birthday. I'm at my wedding. Do you see me slacking off? We've got no, to get to her and get that ring out of the ceremony. We still have to mingle, right? That's the best we can do right now, other than manhandle the ring bearer. Us artsy types know no boundaries. Rafe, you cannot stop this ceremony. But I'm not going to stop it. I'm just going to, you know, distract it momentarily. Look, VPs are a dime a dozen, buddy. If you do not have your ass on a plane in one hour, I will buy another flunky to do your job. That Katya sure is a bitch. bitch. You were going to say bitch, weren't you? No, she's a powerhouse, doing what she has to do to stay on top in a field almost exclusively dominated by men. Pick a pill, goody. You two need a vacation from each other, but right now we got work to do, okay? And there is nothing more sacred than two people coming together with a common goal, which is why we are all gathered here today to celebrate this union. Hey, I got an idea. Get your cell phone out. Call her, you know, make up some business. Are you nuts? No bride's gonna leave her own ceremony. No normal bride, maybe. Come on, what do you gotta lose? Improvise. <clears throat> Repeat after me. I, Katya. Steve, finally. No, I don't care what time it is in Hong Kong. Uh, love, honor, blah, blah, blah. Can we cut to the chase party? This call is important. And with this ring symbolizing eternal love, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wonderful mother. Yes. I'm so happy for you, darling. Hmm. Ooh, mini quiche. Isn't it a little early, Isabel? <laughs> I'm celebrating your nuptials. Isn't that what you wanted? I prefer a celebration to a drunken orgy. Oh, you would. Marriage slowing you down, Max? No, not at all. Eating me up, actually. Mm. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, you must be a friend of, uh, of Katya's, yes? Uh, Max Montgomery, I don't believe we've met. Yes, yes. Uh, Christina Hope. The Boston Hopes, yes. Yes, <laughs> and the elsewhere hopes. <laughs> <laughs> Enchanté. Mm. What do you think? Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes, it is. It's wonderful. Congratulations. She's quite a woman. Yes, she is. She's quite fabulous. Yes. Tell me, where do you uh, know my Katya from? Princeton. How nice. You know, um, I have to admit, I was a little surprised when Katya accepted my proposal. Well, I mean, she's so busy with her career and all that uh, love and marriage simply weren't on her agenda. Until now, that is. So what was it that convinced her? Well, I like to think it's my uh, devilish charm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I really should get to Katya. Congratulate her on her happy day. Yes, I'm sure she'd love to see you. Yes, it, it was nice speaking with you. <laughs> Alphonse. You would prefer Alphonse to Fernando Galatori? And you are Galatori? In the flesh and fantasy, so to speak. <laughs> Alphonse has the flu. That's rather unprofessional. Yes, those darn influences are so uh, selfish. Okay, I'll forgive him this time, seeing as he has such exquisite taste in replacements. Well. I'm sure that would speed his recovery. <laughs> would you care to sit down? No. I would like a photo. After all, how often does one's daughter get married? Might as well capture it for posterity. Assolutamente. Uh, please, mm, move a little bit to your left, here. There, by the flowers. There. So, you've been planning this wedding for a while, then? Oh, no. I'm just the mother of the bride. No, this has been Max's project from the outset. How nice for you. Not really. Just as long as he keeps my daughter happy. Uh, she's a beauty. Just like her mother. <laughs> you are a charmer. And, um, handsome. Oops! <laughs> there. I'm ready for you. Delightful. I'm ready for you too, Fernando. I could sell this to Vogue for the cover. <laughs> you are such a liar. But I love it. I will, um, see you later. I look forward to it. Max, what about the guests? Please, don't worry about it, darling. This will only take a moment. Excuse us. Thank you. Did you get the ring yet? No. Well, where's Sarah? Over there. <gasps> Sarah! <laughs> okay, change your plans. Good when you find Katya. And get that ring off her finger. Right, I'm on it. Right. We missed you at the alumni dinner last year. Oh, I know. I meant to go, but everything just got so crazy. Yeah, with your exciting life. <laughs> Doing, uh, what is it, research in the paranormal? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, who are you here for, the bride or the groom? Bride. Uh, Scott's family is old friends with the Andersons. Oh. And you? Uh, groom. Dear Max. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you! I know. <laughs> what are you, six months? About that. Yeah. It's gonna be a real powerhouse, this one. Or she. Now, nah, we'll be happy as long as the baby's healthy. But we need someone to carry on my name. Our name, dear. <laughs> Sarah, it's wonderful. Well, it's the perfect setting for such lovely guests. Don't you just love canapes? Uh, yeah. You have some dip on your finger. Allow you me. Try these. They're divine. Okay, but don't tell. <laughs> Oops! Almost got my ring. Mm, wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to use fresh herbs. Dry ones don't work as well. At least that's what my chef Leon says. Mm -hmm. He says that if you keep a small herb garden in your kitchen, you have access to wonderful flavors year-round. Now, I haven't actually seen the kitchen, but I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, want me to get that? You are such a cutie. <laughs> Can a girl even take time off to get married? Hello, this is Katya Montgomery speaking. That's the first time I've gotten to say that. <laughs> what? No, that's impossible. Nick is here with me, and I'm not revealing her until tonight. Relax. Go and enjoy your kid's birthday, you big silly, and let me enjoy my wedding. Honestly, some people. Boring. <laughs> uh, trouble? Mm. My worrywart VP thinks somebody's activated Nika. That's your invention, right? My key to the world. 
But you don't want to hear about my job, do you, my handsome young canapé? Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to go share these with the rest of the guests. Ah, yes, sharing. Not a concept that I support wholeheartedly, but necessary under the circumstances, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and having kids was all you and I used to talk about. I mean, we even came up with names. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My career has just gone in such an unexpected direction. Well, I admire your dedication to that. What is happening in the paranormal field? Oh. Any alien landings yet? <laughs> uh, I don't. Well, you know, Scott's the breadwinner in our family, so I'm just happy to stay home with the baby. Just don't wait too long. Oh, oh honey, don't scare her like oh. that. You'll have your turn, Sarah. All that really matters is, well, that you're happy. Are you happy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> my work is important, and my colleagues are outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I couldn't be happier. No, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> hors d'oeuvres? Oh. I need to talk to you. Dressing room? Three minutes. I'm just gonna go freshen up. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. Could you at least pretend not to notice other women? I meant her to feel fat and ugly, okay, and pregnant. Yeah? Well, whose fault is that? If you wouldn't have forgotten taking your pill. Yeah, you know what? Don't ever think about having sex again, okay? Ever. Oh, is that a promise? Okay, enough, 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 enough. Go, go. Don't even start. I'm sorry. Just looking for a place to reload. You're not ducking out of your own wedding now, are you? Oh, well, let's be honest. It's all about the bride. A quick I do, and my job was done. <laughs> I guess your line of work keeps you pretty busy. Well, I mean, it is wedding season. You must be book solid. Yes. I'm Max. Actually, it's chic Maximilian Montgomery, if you want to be precise. Oh, Saddam gave me the title after I helped him with some business dealings. Really? And what business dealings were those? Well, I deal in rare gems, mainly. Saddam asked me to find the perfect gem for some gentleman he wished to do business with. Fortunately, they were so enchanted by its beauty that they sealed the deal immediately. I guess you don't care who you do business with. Well, business is business. Do you do business with people you don't like? Well, I, uh, capture the character within. Ah, oh, but some subjects are master illusionists. What then? Well, I've never met an illusion I can't pierce. <laughs> well, you must be a very rare artist indeed. Be a sport, hmm? Rack them up. You're on. No, do you? No. Any progress? Well, Kachi got a call saying someone accessed Nika, but she said that was impossible because it's here. Are you sure? Totally. She said it was her key to the world. What does that mean? Well, Nika might be a form of those virtual personalities I was talking about earlier. They interface with other computers via modems. If the demons got their hands on it and knew how to operate it, they could access every computer online. Which nowadays is most of them all over the world. The demons would have a field day with this kind of power. This is sick. You find Rafe. I'll find Nika. No. Of course, I prefer big game myself. Do you hunt? Well, photographers are a lot like hunters. I go on safari, too. Six ball cross pocket. You were saying? Well, whether it's a gun or a camera, you have to be patient. You have to wait for your best shot. And I suppose you have that kind of patience, do you?
Oh, dear. Looks like I have you cornered. Looks that way. Looks can be deceiving. Bravo. Well, you really are a diamond in the rough, hmm? You're in the gem business. I'm sure you've heard of the Bride's Kiss Emerald. Yes, of course, the infamous Cursed Emerald. Why, what's your interest in? It's in town. It's famous and I want to shoot it. Do you believe it's cursed? Well, I like to think that the proof is in the pudding. I mean, the thing's been on display for weeks. Has the public fallen under its spell? I don't think it works that way. I think you have to wear it. You know, it was stolen from the museum today, and a guard was killed in the process. What a shame. Corner pocket. Well, beginner's luck. Rack him up. We're off on our honeymoon tomorrow, south of Spain. Very romantic, or so I'm told. You married? Once. Widowed? How tragic. Yes, very. If I were you, I'd go for the ten ball in the corner pocket. I prefer a subtler move. As do I, immortal. Reveals himself. As does the demon who makes him tick. What's your plan, demon? Nothing you can stop. Y2K got wrecked because low class demons are notorious for shooting off their mouths. So what? So chew on this. I'll be dishing up a little fire and brimstone later. First seating is at six o'clock. I do hope you can make it. Right. <laughs> that demon just vanished. Whoa, A-class. Yeah. Sarah wants you right away. You remember that virtual personality she was talking about? Yeah. Well, it's called Nika, and it's here. In the house? Yeah. Katya called it her key to the world, and apparently it's been activated. Sarah went to go find it. What time is it? 4.03. And where's the ring now? On Katya's finger. <sighs> Still. That demon promised fire and brimstone at six o'clock, and I'll bet you anything, this Nika is his ticket. What's it do? I don't know, but it can't be good. And we got two hours to stop it. And figure out what it is. Nika's definitely been activated. You stay here, keep your eye on things. I'm gonna try and find Wraith. Oh, excuse me. My favorite waiter. My favorite mother of the bride. The general would have liked you. 
the general? Katya's father, my late husband. He's the one that introduced you to all that computer stuff. And I suppose you had other ideas about how she should spend her time? Well, she is a girl. But the general was a very persuasive man. I wish I had a general for a father. <laughs> Try getting anywhere without having contacts these days. <laughs> well, Katya was very fortunate. He gave her a bunch of those R&D contracts with the military. Like Nika? Mm. It's too bad he didn't live to see it. Yeah, that's a shame. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, I'll um, just pass these around, shall I? Yeah. Sarah. Kim and Scott are having a baby. So? So, and they probably have a Range Rover, too. And? And I live in a bus. I just look at them, Rafe, and I, and I wonder if I miss the boat, you know? How am I here when I always figured I'd have roots by now somewhere in my life? Listen to me. You're letting your inside be controlled by somebody else's outside. So? So how do you think demons work? Where do you think jealousy comes from? Or bigotry or hatred? Hey, I'm here for you. But right now the world's in danger and we got a job to do. You're right. Hmm? You're right. I, I, I'm sorry. Don't let it happen again. I uh, found this press release in the computer room. Nika's being billed as the new frontier of digital security. Net integrated cracking agent, what does that mean? It means that Nika's specialization is cracking into other computers. You mean like hacking? No, hacking is a relatively benign term. Cracking is malicious. People who deliberately go into a system to pull out or mess with sensitive materials. That's a perfect demonic device. Yeah. It creates chaos. Hello? Sarah. I just found out that Katya's father was a general and that Nika is a military contract. Nika was developed for the military. Katya was probably hired to design a program that could find the weaknesses in the security system at the Defense Department. Brilliant. Max gets his hands on it, and now it's not checking the weaknesses, it's exploiting them. Now, he mentioned something about Y2K. Now, Y2K at the time was linked to the apocalypse. Armageddon. Exactly. And if I'm right, in about one hour, Max is going to try to use Nika to unleash the stockpile of nuclear weapons on the world. I want you to find Max and Katya and don't let them leave. Got it, bro. You got to get that ring off of her right away. We got to deactivate Nika. I'll worry about Max. Let's stop these monsters. Hello. We haven't met. I'm Katya. Anderson, I know. Oh, how do you know? I read everything about you. Every article, every interview. Oh, how flattering. But it's Montgomery now. I'm married. What a beautiful ring. Max said it made especially for me. He is so great. <laughs> it's such an unusually cut stone. Isn't it? Have you tried the canapes? I just love them. Yeah, fabulous. Do I'm... you know how to cook a pot roast? Because I've been such a takeout girl my whole life, but Poopsie is going to want a hot-cooked meal on the stove when he gets home, and who can blame him? <laughs> Listen, catch Oh, my gosh. Do you think we could get them to play Que Sera Sera? I would love to sing it to Max. Nothing gets him in the mood like Doris Day. <laughs> May you dream of white picket fences, but I got a job to do. Forgive me. <laughs> I hope this doesn't rule out the possibility of a working relationship in the future. Ugh. You thank me when this is over and you're back to your usual self. Max is still lurking around. Sarah's in the dressing room with Katya. Getting the ring off, I hope. What time is it now? 5.37. Okay. 
You stay here. I'm gonna find the girls. Well, hello, hunky boys. <laughs> oh, can I have this? Bad boy. You were trying to take my ring away. Max wouldn't like that very much. Max? She's under his control. Yeah, not if I have anything to say about it. Sarah, give me the ring. <sighs> now. Okay. But first you have to dance with me. <sighs> Listen to me. In a half an hour, mass murder is going to begin. Oh, he's so clever at those things, that Max. <laughs> Why haven't we done this before? You're wonderful. We need Katya. Where is she? Safe and sound. Heads up. Give me back my wedding ring, you psycho. Hey, it's my ring now. Ouch. Give me the ring. Give it here. Katya, listen, listen. We don't have time to go into detail, but we need your help now. Max has activated Nika in order to launch nuclear missiles. Uh, who are you? A concerned citizen. I'm just supposed to believe this? Please, Katya, just check Nika. See if she's been tampered with. It's five minutes of your time. It won't do you any good. Get her out of here. I'll deal with this. No, my invention. Max, what is going on? What is all this about nuclear missiles? I'm sorry to ruin our wedding day, darling, but I'm afraid it's true. Why, you bastard! <laughs> Famous Anderson Tempo. Let me go! I think it's what I love about you most. I'm gonna kill you! Not if I kill you first. Get her out of here. <laughs> this ends now. Correction. You end now. Hello, baby. Hello, Katya. Engage in updated parameters. Missiles taking launch position. How could this happen? I'm the only one she's programmed to obey. It was you. Right, I just reprogrammed my own invention an hour ago in the middle of my wedding without remembering it. What do you remember of the last couple of hours, Katya? I don't know, it's hazy. Missile position set, Washington. Berlin, Moscow, and Beijing locked. We're in trouble. There's no override function on this thing? Not unless I give her self-destruct command. I, I built her. I can figure out a way to stop this. There's no time, Katya. Just shut her down. No, I can do this. <laughs> Do something. This is doomsday. Nika is the culmination of my entire life's work. I'm not going to just destroy her. I can reprogram her in time to stop this. Don't worry, we won't die. I intend to live long enough to kill that son of a bitch husband of mine. Yeah, you're brilliant, but this is beyond you. Please just shut her down. No, let me work this out. And if you can't, then Max wins. And even if you do survive, you will always be the little wife to the big man for the rest of your life, always doing his bidding. What do you mean? You have no idea how you've been acting today. Discussing recipes? Singing to your poopsie? All sugar and spice. Totally subservient. Not the catch yet I've grown to admire. <laughs> I've seen goldfish with more spirit. Katya, please, build another Nika when this is done. You've got to shut her down. You can't let Max win. I actually Five. sang. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. Four. I hate Doris Day. Missile launch averted.
Self-destruct initiated. Goodbye, Katya. Goodbye, Nika. What's the matter, Max? Good life making you soft? I told you I could pierce any illusion. You know, I don't think much of those friends of yours. Who, Scott and Kim? Yeah, talk about hypocrites, all sunshine on the outside, but bitter and mean to each other. Definitely not about the love. Come to think of it, all these society types are asses. You're running with a much better crowd right now. So, what's it gonna be? Love or career? Both. All in good time. You know, after all those canopies, I could definitely go for a slice of pizza. Well, allow me. <laughs> I think I captured the bride's inner glow. Wouldn't you say? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think? Um, well, I, I, I wouldn't quit your day job. Hmm. I don't have a day job. Oh, it's email from Katya. <laughs> what? Well, Katya and Bella are on a long vacation, courtesy of Max, who's presumed missing. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it's going to stay. Yeah. And he's also left her heir to the mines, so she's in no big rush to find him. She's already generated a buzz on Nika version 2.0. Well, as long as she's happy. You know, um, <clears throat> I look at Katya and Kim, and I thank God I'm me and here. Even if that means I have to put up with you two schmoes. <laughs> I never get a pretty little emerald of my own. <clears throat> yeah. Well, thinking about emeralds, where's that ring? Mm. At least until he's cleaned out the fridge. Yeah. Uh, uh.